Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm going to discuss whether or not I think virtual staging is shady. Now, in my opinion, virtual staging is perfectly fine as long as the material facts of the property are not altered. I think virtual staging is a great way to show a potential buyer what a property can look like without or with furniture, right? Especially for a vacant property. It's hard for a potential buyer to, to look at the photos and get an imagination of, of you know what the spaces look like uh, with furniture and it's a much more cost effective way to to stage a property than to spend thousands of dollars and having real fun furniture put in now depending on the listing you might have that budget it might be a million dollar house you might have a budget to to do the actual staging but for most normal listings you don't it's probably a good idea um, you know, on the virtually staged image as well to have some type of watermark and show that it is virtual, just a disclosure, right? Um, I don't think it's required, but it's probably a good practice um, for many of you. Because the last thing you want is buyers to show up and to say, you know, this looks nothing. Now, I wouldn't make a room look bigger with staging, like make it smaller or something just to enhance, you know, the property i would really just want to keep it looking as natural as possible but with uh, realistic looking furniture now there are some really bad virtual staging uh, software out there uh, one that comes to mind is visual stager in my opinion it looks so fake that it it's it's so distracting right it looks so bad that you know the shadows and everything just looks distracting to me so when photos have distractions like that in my opinion, I think it's better to not do the staging. And that's my same thought process from a distraction standpoint when it comes to window pools. I look at some real estate photos and it looks the picture looks better outside with the windows than it does on the inside. The inside, maybe the colors aren't accurate, it looks all bad, and then outside it's good. So anyways, just you know, look at photos as if you're a potential buyer. You know, is this distracting? Does the property look look good? Does it look like it did when, when you were there? If you show up as a potential buyer, are you gonna be mad that, oh my gosh, it doesn't look the same? I mean, it is possible to have uh, furniture in a property, then uh, the homeowner moves it out and now it's empty, so it's not, the, the end of the world if, if a buyer shows up and the furniture is not there. In my opinion, virtual staging um, isn't shady, but I think it's a good idea to disclose when virtual staging is used. So anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. If you got value out of the video, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel if you like and enjoy real estate photography content just like this. And as always, thanks for watching. We will see you guys on the next one.